Girl talk. Girl talk. Because me and Lily decided that we wanted a new setup. Because yeah. ours was boring. It was just plain white. Mm -hmm. So we decided to move into this room, which has a pink wall and flowers and, and girl talk song. We have a really fun episode planned for y'all today. Yes, it's gonna be juicy. Before we move on to the video, I just want to tell you guys that really, really soon I'm having a meet and greet. I think it's about like two or a half or like one week. And I'm having a meet and greet. You can meet me, the rest of my family, and Lily. But I'm gonna be like the main person. Me, the rest of my family, and Lily. <laughs> um, so I don't have all the full details yet because we're still waiting to see if we can do it at this place that we want to do it. But I'm just gonna let you know that it's gonna be 100% free. The first 20 people that show up are gonna get a free slime that I make handmade. Mm -hmm. Ow! Oh, God, I spoke myself. It's gonna be somewhere in Texas, more like the Houston area. It's not gonna mm -hmm. be like Lubbock or anything. But yeah, so it's gonna be really 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 fun and it's completely free So you should totally ask your mom to take you down and it's gonna be like awesome. So yeah Oh, also it's gonna be on January 28th. It's two days after my birthday. Okay, so today in girl talk We're going to do something a little bit different. We're not gonna go shopping and do all the normal stuff that we do We're gonna talk about what you guys want to hear about our dream boys Got a bowl of nail polishes right here and they happen to all be pink <laughs> except one Ooh. This is black. Yeah, it's actually matte. It's really cool because it's Ooh, chalkboard. I think I like this. It's, it's really cool. It's really good to use. But I'm going to do all black and then one pink. I'm going to do this one that I got in my stocking that I haven't had the chance to use yet. And you got that from Laura, right? I did, yeah. Oh, yeah. cool. Alrighty, so I have come up with a list of questions that I'm going to be asking Annie and she's going to be asking me. How tall do you want him to be? Okay, I've actually thought about this before. <laughs> what? I feel like everybody has a little bit. So, I'm very, very, very tall for my age. I'm only 11 and I'm like 5 something. Five. Like 5'1 five, or 2. And so I want him to be taller than me at least. Because I feel like if a guy is shorter than you, I feel like that's just weird. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad. If you guys have a boyfriend that's like shorter than you, like it's fine. I just feel like it'd be nicer to have someone really tall, like bigger. Yeah. Okay, so for me, um, I'm 5'7 and 3 quarters. I definitely like a guy that's over 6 feet tall. That's definitely... That makes a lot of sense. Next question. What kind of muscles do you want him to have? Or, if any, like do you want him to be super muscular? Or do you want him to be more like lean muscular? Or do you want him to be like long? Or do you want him hmm. to be really bulky? I feel like I would want someone who's like really bulky, whose his arms are like this big. So, oh yeah. So then like when you cuddle or when he hugs you, it's like, he's like huge. He's like more comfy. Ooh. Okay, for muscles, for me, I am really attracted to the longer, like, leaner. They have like bigger shoulders and kind of narrower hips. <laughs> I don't know why. Now, this is like probably one of the most important questions, guys. Hair. Oh my god. What kind of hair? Okay, this is, this is a Okay, so I like hair to be kind of shortish on the sides, like kind of not buzzed, but like short, and then like a whole bunch of hair just on the top, and mm -hmm. then spiked up. I love when guys gel their hair. I hate when it's like down and it's like bland and it like moves. They go like, and they're like, yeah. ah, <laughs> the best. <laughs> yeah. So for hair for me, when I was a little girl, not like a little girl. I was I was really into the Justin Bieber hair, like the yeah. The hair flip. Ew, I don't like that. Oh, I loved that hair. And like anyone who had it, I was just like starry eyed for them. Um, but now I just more like just a regular cliff. Now let's move on to personality traits. What are some basic personality traits that you would like your dream guy to have? And if there are any boys watching and you want to date Annie, you <laughs> better be listening. Better be listening. But you'll have to go through me first. So for us, the first thing that has to like be a part of his life is he has to be a Christian. Right. Uh, like if he's not, then it's like a no-go. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's immediate, just no. immediate like. I, okay, I hate when like, when couples, like when I see couples and they're kind of like mean to each other. Like, they're obviously, playful. obviously mean, but I hate when people are like playfully mean. They're like, oh my gosh, that's so ugly. Like teasing each other all yeah. the time. Yeah, I want someone who's like, even though I'm like with that with my friends, but for a guy, I want someone who like just constantly tells you how good and beautiful you are. Aww. And like who's like super sweet and just like can't super stop supportive. talking about you. Yeah. Like and a little like, chatterbox. And, like is proud to be your boyfriend. Yeah, that's really important. My nails though, they're looking good. Yeah. Oh, I like them. See, they dry matte. They dry matte. Cool. Yeah, they do. One of the main personality traits that is 
if he's easy to talk to. If like we could just sit at 4 a.m. in the morning in the car and talk about literally anything. Like, you know, oh, yeah. you know, I just want a guy that has stuff to say and has opinions, grounded in his beliefs. He's not like inconsistent or wavering, you know? I've seen lots of couples where they're like, oh, you look so ugly. And it's like, I don't know. I just don't find that attractive. Like, attractive or nice. I would hate to be in a relationship where you were like kidding that you were like ugly or you were being stupid. You know, I just feel like that's yeah. you know, well, it's kind of immature mean. and there's not much depth to it, you know? Yeah, it's not like a relationship. It's like a friend. Like Ooh, it. that's a really pretty color. One thing for me is he has to be, well, two things actually. I cannot stand non-funny people for some reason. <laughs> so have to have a sense of humor, but also have to be extremely outgoing and able to be on camera because I'm going to want to put them on camera in pictures. So they have to be photogenic and they have to be- Well, maybe you could teach them how to be photogenic. Yeah, like they have to just be willing to right. be on photos. And the last kind of important one for me is for them to be open-minded and like be willing to- okay. I almost ruined my nail. <sighs> But yeah, someone who's willing to try things and just kind of like easygoing and a little bit laid back, but not too laid back. So there are lots of different fields that people can go into. Would you want your boyfriend to be more creative or more academic? If you had to choose. Um, I would do... Well, I think in the relationship I would be the creative one. So I think academic just because like I already, I've already got the creativity so I wouldn't need like... Mm -hmm. someone to help me with that so I think if I was yeah I think ac academic that's like exactly my answer too it's like right. I am the creative one and I'm okay <laughs> with being the creative one Martin. someone who is smarter than me and can help me with that would be awesome so the next question is kind of more focused on you like him towards you I guess okay so there are these things called the love languages and there are five of them so there's physical touch there's quality time, there's words of affirmation, there's um, giving or receiving gifts, and then acts of service. And so we all each all have our love language. They're not completely like definite at one, but there's always like different ways and different uh, variables of each. And so my love languages are physical touch and quality time. Mine is words and quality time. How would you want your ideal boyfriend to really show love? Like what would, like one mm. instance that would be so special for you? Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? But I think but if you're really, like if your life was on light and you had to choose one, what would it be? Quality time. Yeah. So you could take me on dates and like would want to take me out when I was sad. If I had to choose one, it would definitely be physical touch. Oh, also, sorry to interrupt Lily, but um, my nails have been done for a while, and I just want to show you. Yeah. So, they're they're pretty nice. What's weird is that one of them is glossy and the other one is matte, but like, it looks good. Nobody will notice. If you had the control to choose the answer to this, what would you want his talents to be? Ooh! It's like, of course, God has already planned the person we're gonna end up with, and yeah. I think that's really beautiful. But just say, if you had control over it. No, I don't want to be like the classic girl, but I think singing is so attractive. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> but if, I don't... if you could play an instrument at the same time. Oh, and mm. a good actor would be really. Actor? Like, because I really love theater, so I do acting and singing and dancing all uh, together. So it'd be really nice if I had someone who we could maybe do a duet with on my channel. and like, Ooh. Like, um, do covers and stuff? Yeah, like Love is an Open Door. Ooh. And like, you could act out the role. That'd be super fun. Uh, okay, for me, if I could control what talents he had, this is what I want. I want a good businessman. There you go. <laughs> I want someone who has a talent in maybe like building things or doing car work. And very last question. Very last. What is something that you just can't live without in a guy? So like if they have this one trait, you would consider dating them. And if they mm -hmm. don't, you just say, nope, never mind. This is gonna sound so mean, but like, well, the number one thing is that they have to be taller than me. Cause that's just weird. It's just awkward for me. They have to be like sociable at like, like a party or something. Oh, like kind of extroverted a little bit? Yeah. Like, like if not someone, super internal, I guess. Like if someone's like, you know, the one in the party who sits by themselves and just wants to be with their friend in their little friend group. We recently had a party and I didn't know half of the people because there were people from like Lily's other things that she does, like dance and all that. And literally I just went up to everyone and just met them. So there has to be someone who can do that. You have to be smart <laughs> to, for me to consider dating. Like you have to impress me with your brain. Of course, like 
all of these things, there's so much more that we could talk about, like, you know, they have to actually love me and they have to treat yeah. me well. And there's so much stuff that goes into it, but I think we covered the basics of what kind of boys we like and what kind of dream boys that we want. Yeah. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching this episode of Girl Talk. I really hope you liked it and I really hope you like our new background. These are my finished nails and those are Lily's. Mm -hmm. Mine got messed up in that one little pink one, but I really like them. And we will see you guys next Tuesday, but I'm posting a video on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So. Make sure that you check out those. Bye! Bye.